Hey R2FM here. I decided to go straight to the point in this video since many people have a short attention spam, including myself. So what I would recommend you to do is after I go through the whole process of adding how to trade in MetaMask, please watch the end of that because you're going to learn a lot. I'm going to explain a lot there. For those newcomers, all those people that left comments on my previous videos, I'm going to be answering all your questions there. So please watch the whole video and especially the end because I'm going to be explaining a lot there. So let's get started. All right, step number one, you need MetaMask, right? So the first thing you need to do is, of course, I really hope that you have already installed MetaMask since you're looking for this video, MetaMask. So quick tip, never ever share your private key or your seed key. The only thing that you can share is your public key that public key is going to be here this public key is going to allow some people some exchanges like pancake swap to be able to use your public wallet and exchange one coin for another one this public key is also going to allow external people to see how many coins you have in your wallet and what is your balance of your wallet and so on but they will not be able to take away your, your wallet so the first thing you need to do is add the bnb smart chain for that what you're going to do is you're going to go to google uh, you're going to type add bnb to metamask and is this one here the first one and here are the instructions you're going to scroll down it goes through the whole process of how to set up metamask so in case that you don't have MetaMask set up already, just go through the whole process there. And of course, your secret wallet, make sure you keep it safe and don't put it in online somewhere. All right, so what you need to add here is the mainnet. So uh, you need to, you're gonna open this, right click, open link in a new tab, and you're going to copy the first one here and then copy and then go back here to this URL that we were before. So you're going to add, click here on MetaMask and you're going, you have two ways to do this right now. The simplest one is to click here on top, click on custom RPC. And then here you can type whichever name you like. For mine, I put uh, BNB Smart Chain. You can type this if you like. All right, so let's put BNB Smart Chain because it sounds better. And then next, you're going to paste the URL that you had before. Put this one here. It says that it already exists because I already set it up. Next, you're going to type the chain ID, which is for mine 56, this one here. On the current symbol, we're trying to add the BNB uh, network. So that is what goes there. And then on the block explorer, as you see here, it is BSC scan. So you type it here and then you click on save. What you have done with this process is you've had it, you have added the network, the BNB network to MetaMask, which means that you can now trade on the BNB network. That's all. That's all it means. You have not traded anything or given your address to anything means that you are now able to trade on BNB network. All right, so next up, we need to get you some BNB to this address. By the way, you added the network, now you have to switch back to it. So click here, and then click on the name that you gave it to, and it's gonna switch, and there you go. You're now in the BNB network. So you need to give here some BNB. I cover later on the video all the, the all the exchanges where you can get some BNB. So uh, the timestamps are below in the, in the video. You can go there and watch that part if you like. So I'm assuming that you have some BNB already. If you don't, again, go to that part of the video uh, on this same video on this timestamp below. So for this, I'm gonna go to my phone. And what you want to do is go to the exchange where you bought the BNB in my case, I bought it in Binance, so I'm gonna to go to Binance and second for this to blow. There you go. So in Binance, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on withdraw. 
and I'm gonna put here 0.1 because that's the minimum that it allows. So uh, here in Binance, you're gonna transfer the minimum uh, 0.01, withdraw. Now, this is a tricky part. You cannot send directly BNB to your MetaMask wallet. If you do that, you're gonna lose the money. So what you have to do is transfer this regular BNB to the smart chain BNB. In order to do that, there are many ways to do it. The easiest one I found is to transfer this to the um, the trust wallet. And there you're going to click here on the top, on the top right corner, you're going to search here for BNB. And you want to make sure that you have those two uh, enabled because those two are the ones that you're going to be working with. So you're going to click on the second one, on the BNB on the regular one, and you're going to click on receive. Now you're going to copy these address. So you, you see the bottom there, copy, you're going to copy that. And then you're going to go back and, and you're going to type that address in the Binance or whichever exchange you're trying to transfer it from. You're going to click OK. You don't need a memo. That's fine. Uh, preview withdrawal success yes blah 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 uh it's telling you there that you're gonna get a gas fee that's fine all right cool so now that we saw that binance transfer that uh that balance to my uh trust wallet the next step to do is we're going to go to trust wallet and here we're going to check the balance and as you can see, it just changed, but it could be due to uh, fluctuations in the market. So I'm going to see what I'm going to want to do is I'm here and check. As you can see, we haven't received anything yet. Now, some people are complaining that it, this takes a while. Yes, it may take a while. The, the network may be congested. However, you just have to wait. That's how it goes. All right. So there you go. We just saw it coming. So perfect. So the money has been received. If we refresh, there you go. Here they are. It could be, it could take a couple of hours. Just wait. Just be patient. Just wait. Don't re, don't restart the process again. So now that you have some regular BNB, as you can see here, we have 52. What you want to do is go to Dex, which you're gonna swap. So on the top. You're going to put the BNB with the yellow color and the second one, you're going to put the BNB with the yellow and black on top yellow. You get it. All right. So here you're going to type on, on the max amount. So a hundred percent. And then here you're going to click on swap. Just make sure that the symbols, the colors are like that. You're transferring from the regular BNB to the smart chain BNB because metamask uses metamask and and pancake swap uses the smart chain bnb to swap all the coins so click on swap and now it's going to ask you for a gas fee all right so i'm not going to wait for this one so just just hang in there wait uh, whatever time you have to wait if it takes more than one day then you're in trouble uh but of course this is not going to happen uh i'd not warranty you that <laughs> All right, so uh, after you swap those coins here in DEX, what you want to do is send this coin to MetaMask. Easy as that. So you're going to click on send. So you saw what I did there, right? So click the first one, Smart Chain, send, and we're going to be sending an amount of 0 0.01. Actually, that's too much about zero one all right and then here on the recipient address you copy so this address here on top remember we're in the in the smart chain here copy this address i'm going to type here so now you're going to click on next and you have a fee of 0 0.10 as you can see the swap uh, is more expensive than actually sending to another wallet. So now you're going to click on send. And you're going to see there that it's pending. 
and all you have to do is wait it usually takes less than a minute and you can also check here that you have there and if you really want to check the status of this and you want more confirmation you can click on more details here and there you will see that it was success uh, but here you have the transaction hash many people will ask you for that if you ask for help you don't have to give them any of that if they really want to help uh, they're not going to ask for that all right so uh so it went through uh as you can see here as i was talking we can see a 0 0.001 bmb so now next step is to go to uh pancake swap i'm gonna log out here for a second and What you have to do is uh, click here on connect and you're going to click on MetaMask. Now, before I do that, I want to show you something. Look what happens if I'm not in the right protocol, in the right network, I'm sorry. So I just switched to the Ethereum network. So I'm going to click on connect, then MetaMask, and it's going to say unsupported chain ID. This happens because you're not in the right network on MetaMask. So what you have to do is click on MetaMask, then click here, go to your BNB smart chain, the one that we added at the beginning. And now it will connect easily. So uh, the next time you click on connect, it will simply connect. All right, so next up, uh, as you can see, now we're connected to MetaMask. This is also a kind of tricky part. If you try to use B B2 right now, what happened to me uh, about two to three days ago, I don't know if it's fixed already. I just don't want to take the risk for now. Uh, the transaction got hanging there for a little bit for a couple of days. I saw here on MetaMask, once I went inside the, the coin, I saw here a couple of queues, uh, pending transactions. You want to avoid that. Um, and i will release another video talking about that but for now what i recommend you to do is click here on v1 and use the old version because they're going through a migration process right now they're releasing the v3 and everything else so click here on v1 now of course you have to connect the wallet again but since we're now in the right protocol it will connect very nicely so it's now telling you they have this amount and uh, I'm going to connect this one. Yes. All right. So you have this amount here and what we want to do is trade. So let's say that you want to trade um, ADA or Sigma. So of course you can do that. Before it was not possible when I made my last video, it was not possible. However, they made some changes and you now can definitely trade uh, uh, other coins for SafeMoon. You do not have to trade BNB for SafeMoon. BNB here, we're only going to use it for the fee, for the gas fee. Remember to move one coin from one wallet to the other one. In this case to buy it so for example what i would use is usdc this is just my personal personal preference i will use usdc then i would buy some safe money so for example um i'm gonna buy one dollar of of safe money and it's gonna say here insufficient liquidity for this trade now that is because it's lo just think about it as it's loading it's loading all you have to do is wait as you saw here and then once you do that you're going to click on swap it's going to ask you for this but before that i want you to be aware of something if you click here in these settings you're going to come up to this page this is this this is called slippage tolerance slippage uh i would put this here between 11 and 15 just to be sure that the transaction is uh, successful so put that at 11 for now 
If you need more, then put more. Confirm the swap. It's going to ask you for confirmation. You may see this a little more uh, simpler because I have it more uh, advanced. But the end result is <laughs> you click on confirm. All right, so now what I would do here is uh, right click this, open it in a new tab. And right now you see here that it's being processed and you're going to have here the whole, the whole pro the whole confirmation process. It may say pending, it may say something else, error or whatever, but you have there the proof that the transaction is going. So as you saw there, it says success and I just switched to another perf clothes. Now this is a different day. Look, this is how you can buy BNB. So I explained this on another video. Um, and the next one that is going to come up actually, but for simplicity, I'm also, because I already said at the beginning, I'm also going to show you here. So, uh, go to, you can find out where BNB is being sold, all the places that is being sold, not a hundred percent, all the places, but 99% of the places by going to this website called coin market cap. Once you're there in that website, you're going to go here to this search. And then there you're going to look for B and B. That is all. Then once you're there, you're going to uh, where is it? Market. Once you're in market, you can see there are all the places where it's being sold. Don't pay attention to the purse. That's just uh, the the coins that you can swap it for. So what you're looking for is for the source, which means uh, the where it's being sold where it's being traded i'm sorry so you have here binance you have ftx you have qcoin uh gate.io you have a couple of them uh you can even load more so you have a couple of options there you can also go to uh trust wallet and in trust wallet you can select there the um you can select there to buy i'm going to be doing a very detailed video about this on my next release so just subscribe if you want to uh just watch the whole video in detail but uh this is one option to do it i don't do it through this option uh, i do it directly through binance uh and if i'm very very uh you know like uh, i need some bnb for the under layer transaction or just and then i can't get in binance i'll just go with the second option which is buying it uh on trust wallet so again i'm gonna be explaining all this in my next video so just subscribe for everything.